Hey everyone, I'm Ace of Clay and welcome to another sculpting video. If you're new here, I'm a sculptor and every week I make a new sculpture. Today we're staying in the mutant universe or the hidden world and you're going to meet the next guide character, the bear guide. Now if you're not familiar with this world that I've created, it features a bunch of different characters. There's good guys, there's bad guys, there's things that are in between, there's evil creatures, good creatures, all that, and these guide characters are some of the good guys that are in the world. I'll be telling you all about the guides throughout this entire video, so if you're kind of confused right now, it will all make sense when you're done with this video. But basically, these are hero characters that I've been introducing. There are 13 in total, and we're on number six today. And of course, before we get started, I've got a new holographic print in the shop. It looks way better in person, and it features all of the mutants, including the Collectrix. This is available right now for a limited time while supplies last at aceofclay.com. The link is in the description box below so grab it before it's gone because I will not be restocking this one. Now let's meet the bear guide. In the hidden world, there are heroes known as the guides. They were targeted by the entity in an effort to turn them into mutants. However, due to their inherent goodness, the entity's attempts failed, and instead, the guides were assigned an animal spirit and transformed into supernatural beings with unique powers, influenced by the animals they represent. Each guide assumes the identity of the animal they have become, and wears a mask that depicts it. Among them are the swift and nimble rabbit guide, the mischievous and resourceful raccoon guide, the graceful and mysterious cat guide, the wise and all-seeing owl guide, and the fierce and loyal wolf guide, among others. In total, there are 13 guides who now serve humanity in the hidden world. Today we meet Greylock, the bear guide. Despite their transformation, the guides do not hesitate to abandon their former lives to protect humanity. They use their newfound powers and abilities to combat the entity and the mutants. In a small mountain village, nestled deep within a dense forest, there lived a skilled blacksmith named Greylock. He was known for his craftsmanship, creating intricate weapons and armor that were renowned throughout the land. Greylock wore an apron and black gloves and boots as he tirelessly hammered away with his trusty sledgehammer, shaping metal with precision and skill.
Jack was not an ordinary man. He had a deep connection with nature, and his love for the forest was unmatched. He spent his free time exploring the woods, observing the creatures that called it home, and listening to the whispers of the wind through the trees. His understanding of the forest and its inhabitants was unparalleled, and he was respected by both humans and animals alike for his wisdom and kindness. One fateful day, as Greylock was deep in the heart of the forest, he was attacked by the malevolent entity. It sought to transform him into a mutant, but Greylock's pure heart and unwavering spirit withstood the evil. Instead of becoming a mutant, he was transformed into a supernatural version of himself, the Bear Guide. His bear form granted him enhanced strength, agility, and senses, and he could communicate with animals. He moved swiftly through the densest of forests, climbing trees and traversing rugged terrains with ease, always vigilant for any signs of danger. All right, we're gonna take a quick break from our video to talk about our sponsor, BetterHelp. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's video. Mental health is so important. I know it's a regular struggle for me. It is especially important when it comes to being a content creator and making a new sculpture every week for so many people to see. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it is 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 25,000 licensed, experienced therapists that can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's through chat, text, video, or phone call. You can message your therapist at any time and even schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. If your therapist isn't the right fit for whatever reason, you can switch to a new one for no additional charge. With BetterHelp, you will get the same professionalism and quality that you expect from in-office therapy, but with a therapist that is custom-picked for you more scheduling flexibility and at a more affordable price. If all of this sounds good and you're ready to start taking steps to better your mental health, head on over to betterhelp.com slash ace of clay. That's better H E L P and you will save 10% on your first month. I've got them linked below for you in the description box. Thanks again, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's video. Now back to our sculpture. Despite his formidable appearance, Greylock was known for his patience, loyalty, and gentle heart. He was also known to be somewhat clumsy and goofy at times, stumbling and tripping over his large size, but always managing to get the job done in the end.
Mark's unwavering sense of duty led him to tirelessly protect humans from mutants and other threats. He works to purify the forest from corruption or imbalance caused by the entity, healing wounds, and restoring the natural order with his unique abilities. If someone meets Greylock, the bear guide, they are struck by his imposing presence. He stands tall and broad, with a sturdy frame and a white cracked bear mask that covers his face, exuding an air of strength and wisdom. His sledgehammer, which he wields with ease, is a constant companion by his side, symbolizing his blacksmithing origins and his determination to protect those who are in danger. Greylock's attire consists of an apron stained with soot and dirt, as well as black gloves and boots that have seen their fair share of rugged terrains. As one approaches Greylock, they notice his deep connection with nature. The forest seems to come alive around him, as if the animals and plants recognize his presence. Birds perch on his shoulders, and squirrels scurry playfully around his feet, unafraid of his towering figure. He moves with a fluid grace, his movements reminiscent of a bear, agile and powerful.
When Greylock speaks, his voice is deep and resonant, carrying the wisdom of the forest. He listens patiently to those who seek his guidance, his keen senses picking up on even the slightest nuances of their words and emotions. In the presence of Greylock, one can't help but feel a sense of awe and reverence for the forest and its mysteries. His unwavering sense of duty combined with his gentle heart and deep connection with nature makes him a truly extraordinary being that leaves a lasting impression on all who have the privilege of meeting or being saved by him. And so, Greylock the Bear Guide continues his noble quest to protect humans, guided by his deep connection with nature and his unyielding sense of duty. His legacy lives on, as the tales of his courage, wisdom, and kindness spread throughout the hidden world, reminding all who heard them of the enduring power of the forest and the supernatural human who wore a white, cracked bear mask, wielding a sledgehammer with skill and purpose. And that's the story of Greylock the Bear Guide. And he's done! The bear guide is complete. Let me know what you think of him in the comments. Now this is actually the physically the largest guide character so far. This guy is pretty tall. If he were, you know, to his full scale, he would be nine feet tall. And I've been wanting to make the bear guide for a while. I have all the other animals listed out that I'm gonna do for the rest of them. So like I said, this is number six. We have 13 in total. So I really hope you like him. Let me know what you think in the comments and as always thank you so much for watching and being here be sure to like comment and subscribe check me out on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok at ace of clay and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching